It started off so fun, so innocent. I can't believe this game got a sequel. <laughs> like most arcade games, it started off easy enough. Yes, before the chaos began. Really tough. I've been hit twice. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Oh, yes, Craig. You will indeed be praying to your Jesus, Lord. And it's like, I'm trying to throw a fireball right now. It is so unbelievably not responsive. Moving, bouncing, flailing away had me feeling like Soldier Boy circa 2010 trying to throw a fireball. I felt inadequate. Oh, my God. Get my ass kicked. Oh, the party's just getting started, Craigie boy. Learning those fireballs would be a near impossibility. So I attempted to change my strategy. Getting the ball punch. Unsuccessful. Oh, I lost. But then a beacon of light peeks through a dark void. Hold punch, down, down, four. Oh, you gotta hold punch first. Oh, that's the problem. No, no, it's not. The reason I'm not saying anything is my brain is trying to process what is what to do. I can't, God, I can't get, can't do it. I, I, legit, I legitimately can't do a fireball. At this point, the Street Fighter gods have been somewhat nice, but the gods begin to jab their mighty hands squarely into my groin area in the form of Eagle. A wonderfully dressed bartender sporting a sweet stash, baggy pants, and two clubs to beat the holy hell out of you with. Oh, oh my god. Where's your she's his lord now, Craig? And so the battle raged on. And by battle, I mean the equivalent of having a cordless drill slowly plunged into your temple. I fought Eagle and failed, trying every tactic imaginable, even changing to second player and playing as Ken. The ass kicking continued unmercifully. And even when there was a second of optimism, yes, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Eagle beat my ass down and put me in place. Oh my God, just beat the shit out of me. Holy crap. I mean, what the poop? He literally just teleported to the other side of me when I somehow actually managed to throw a fireball. At this point, it's literally laughable. I can't. <laughs> but I digress. We will continue and we will win. For we have infinite credits and all the time in the world. Oh, jeez. He's just nonstop, just beating the holy piss out of me with his stupid sticks. It's over and over and over and over and over and over. F you, Eagle, you piece of trash. I hate you. And now I present to you, in its entirety, the victory round so you can experience the pain, frustration, and yes, utter exhilaration of beating the sorry sack of stick-wielding crap. Throw the, throw the fireball. Just all you gotta do is throw the fireball. That's it. Throw the, all you gotta do is throw the fireball. Just now throw another fireball. Get out of the corner. No, get away. Don't, don't jump over the fireball. Jump, throw into the fireball. Throw, throw the fireball now. Don't jump into it. Don't, stay away from 30 seconds. We've done it! We did it! We motherfucking did it! Oh, congratulations, Craig. Oh, it's Lee! It's Lee! He won't be in impossibly difficult. Okay. Oh! 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 Later, I fought Aiden, a Taiwanese guy with a dangerous overhead kick that gets you in the corner, just beats you down until you say, please, Papa, no more beatings today. I'm, just, I'm, I'm I get hit twice, twice. Eventually, the game felt sorry for me and I got lucky and I moved on to the cheapest son of a bitch in video game history. Scarless Saget is so overpowered, so daunting, so unfair, I'm surprised it wasn't some sort of investigation into malpractice into Street Fighter 1. His Tiger Fireball takes off, and I'm not kidding, two thirds of your life. Even if you block it, it still takes one third. It's just dumb. And on top of that, he has an incredibly unproportionate knee height. Seriously, look how low his knees are. He threw a t fireball, and then he kneed me. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing, but to mask the pain. Remember Eagle? He was a cakewalk compared to this freak. Un unreal. How do you beat this game? This is a real round. This really happened. <laughs> what? Oh, you don't believe me? Here's another. Oh, and another. You're right. I don't know if there's a cheaper boss literally in video game. F this guy. F this game. 
Finally, after getting my shit kicked in for two hours, two hours, it finally happened. I got lucky. Got him! Yes! We did it! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I knew we'd do it! It feels so good! That's what video games are about! Oh, yeah! And after cursing and flipping off digital characters and computer code, I felt like I hadn't wasted 120 minutes of my life. If you enjoyed that chaos, please make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. It's way easier to do that than actually beating Street Fighter.